and welcome to Kentucky Brew Reviews. I am Radar. Special K. Tonight we have another Kirkland product. We have Kirkland Signature Bourbon Tennessee. Is, it says Tennessee Straight Bourbon. This is still technically bourbon. Sort of. It's, no, no. Legally, this is bourbon. Bourbon stopped being a Kentucky spirit about 20 years ago. It is now a national, it is an American spirit by, by decree of Congress. I shit you not. But everybody knows that all the good bourbon comes from Kentucky. It and is a little bit weird they decided to go with the Tennessee distillery and instead you got of the Kentucky some, distillery. you got some big balls to sell a Tennessee bourbon in the state of Kentucky. It's true. Real big balls. I mean, they're going to... It's it's Costco. They sell this all over the nation. Real big balls. Uh, <laughs> this is uh, aged seven years. Uh, distilled and bottled by... It just says in the state of Tennessee. It's batch T1796. Uh, and it's 51.5% alcohol by volume. They put the batch number on there? Yeah. Okay. Ooh, wait a minute. I thought the same thing. Is it? No, it's not by 1796. No, no, no. Is it cask? Is it cask strength? Uh, I don't think so. It doesn't say on the bottle. But again, we don't do research, so they really like to put their beverage tasting points oh, on. Do they have? Do they have tasting points on the bottle? Yeah. How cute. Well, <laughs> we'll have to put this against some of the. Uh, now this is a one liter bottle, and this was thirty dollars. Yeah, it was a. Uh, it was on the expensive side. It was as much as the cognac. But for me, and I got to thinking, I was like, I only bought this because you guys wanted to see it on the show. I would never buy Tennessee bourbon, nor would I buy anything that's not. Yeah, for $30. I, tend, I tend to not buy anything that is calling itself bourbon, not from Kentucky. I know, I know. There's some folks in Washington that decided that I was wrong, but you know what? I have recognized that the council has made a decision. Being as that is a stupid ass decision, I have decided to ignore it. It smells pretty good. All right. It Give smells it all right. Um. Very nice, woody. Yeah, nice oak on there. That's actually. It's not too hot. That's, that's a fit. really that's a really good smell. That's a really good wood. And again, this is a pretty high proof. Uh, it's a pretty high proof bourbon. So. Bourbon. A little bit, a little bit caramely. Uh, almost overpowered by the alcohol smell. Let's taste it. Really sweet. Mmm. That is. It's got, tastes like dirt on the back end. Yeah, I don't know about that. Uh, it was good, and then the back end tasted like I ate a, a, a <laughs> handful of soil. <laughs> You know, I was ready to give this a good, a good right. number <laughs> up until I actually swallowed it down. Um, yeah, it's good up front, and then it tastes like dirt on the back end. That's weird. That's unfortunate. There's a difference between that earthy is. and straight mouthful of dirt. Yeah. A straight mouthful yeah. of dirt. Like, that's that's uh, that's all the unpleasantness of dirt involved in that, in that final flavor. It, it doesn't smell bad, but it just that aftertaste is not. It's good. a little bit smoky, but yeah, that I really like it up front. I really do. I just that back end is rough. Like it's a pretty smooth bourbon for being that hot. Like yeah, bourbon. It's <sighs> gonna air quote every time we say. Look, they bourbon. did a they did a decent job here. Okay. Um... And I'm not ragging on this just because it is made in Tennessee as opposed to Kentucky. I, I accept, I accept the harsh realities of this world. But the aftertaste on this is horrible, uh, Kirkland people. Uh, Except I don't mind the earthiness on the back end, but that is, like I said, a straight mouthful of soil. That's I don't like it. I don't like I don't like the back end. The back end is is what you would call off-putting. Give me quite a bit. <laughs> oh, man. So, uh, let's go ahead and rate this straight. Uh, price, $30 for a one liter bottle. Isn't unheard of. Yeah, it's, it not, is. it's not unnatural. Um, and honestly, I would have said, hey, this is way better than Jim up until that back. Like, yeah, that back yeah. I, would, I was almost about to say, this is competitive. Yeah. But it's not. 
Uh, I still think it's better than some bourbons I've had out there. I mean, it's better than your Heaven Hills. Yeah, but it's better than some bourbons that are like seven dollars. Uh, it might be slightly better than Evan, only because of the upfront and Evan's kind of hot. I'm gonna say it's slightly better than Evan. I'm willing to say that. Really? Yeah. I don't think it's better than Evan. It's. This is incredibly disappointing on so many levels, ladies and gentlemen. It is a four. I, I have to give it a four. That aftertaste is not good. It makes me not want to drink more of this. Uh, I'm going to give it a six. Uh, I think it's above average. Um, it's it definitely... There's, there's some love and quality put into this and some effort. But yeah, that back end is not good. It just it ruins it. No. It ruins a... Probably would have been a great... Uh, it, it bourbon. Could, I'm gonna just go ahead and say it's been a great Tennessee whiskey. Huge air quotes around the word bourbon. We're gonna say a great Tennessee whiskey. It's. I'm just really unfortunate. It, it's. I'm really. I feel really sad oh. about the back end of this bourbon. Smell that. Does that not smell like cinnamon to you for some reason? A little bit. It. It's a weird. It's, yeah, it does. It smells like cinnamon. I mean, you know. Ginger ale is already kind of spicy, but this is ginger ale. I'm not going to say what I'm about to say. I'm going to let you say it first. Go ahead and taste it. Does it still taste like dark to you? Because it still tastes like dirt to me. Yeah, it's just it. But here's the thing, though. It 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 tastes like dirt the whole way through. It does, in fact, taste like soil the entire way through. Um, okay, so the lemon and the ginger, uh, you can still get. Uh, it's uh, it, it's not... It's, it's bad. Uh, it's, it's, not, it's not good. It's sl- sl- slightly better? Like, like... No, I don't, point I don't think it's better because it tastes like dirt all the way. It, it just tastes like ginger dirt. It tastes like I dug up a piece of ginger and like, argh, without peeling it. Just, argh, argh, argh. it's better straight. Well, we're going to have a bourbon off on the show. That can't be included. That's going to be included. How? We're just going to get all the bourbons we have in our shelving that are popu- and that are popular. And we're going to pull them out. And we're going to taste them all, and then we're going to decide on which that's, one is the best one. That's fair, I guess. Um, um, and we're going to consider price, uh, or value, um, quality, distribution, all the above. So, um, I think it's a six and a half mix. It, it, it's, it's above average, but there are about a hundred other bourbons I would buy over this. A hundred. I don't... I don't see how you can give this above a five. Like, I can, I can picture... An individual giving this a five if they like the taste of dirt. Uh, it's a three and a half as a mixer. This is worse as a mixer than it is you think straight. So? I don't, yeah, I because you got that sweetness Sweet of dirt. the mouthfeel when you first when you first taste it, and then the aftertaste of dirt. Now this is just all dirt with some ginger included. All right, well, that's been our episode. If there's something you'd like to see on the channel, you can leave a comment down there. Don't forget to hit that like button on Social K. I'm disappointed. Thanks for watching.